Hi everyone, welcome to One Stop Mathematical Solution. Today we are going to see CSIR NET 2011 June 20 paper. So in this video, we have dealt with the linear algebra session. First question, question 21. Let S is equal to Z upon A such that A is equal to AIJ, phi cos phi matrix. AIJ is equal to 0 or 1. For every ij, summation over j, aij is equal to 1 for every i and summation over i, aij is equal to 1 for every j. Then the number of elements in S is. So we have given a set. We have to find how many elements are there in the set S. So let us look how to do this question. So we are given this set. So the set contains phi by phi matrix and each element is either 0 or 1. Also, sum of elements in each row is 1 and sum of elements in each column is also 1. So if I take a phi by phi matrix like this and if I pick the first element in first row as 1, all the elements in that row will be 0 and all other elements in that column will be 0. Now consider the second row. Now I am taking the third element in the second row as 1. Then all elements in that row will be 0 and all other elements in that column will be 0. Now this is the third column. So third column I am fixing the last that is fifth element as 1. So that column contains all other elements as 0 and all other elements in row as 0. So in the fourth column, I am fixing the second element as 1. So all other elements in that row will be 0 and all other elements in that column will be 0. Now in the fifth column, I am fixing the element 4. Only 4 is remaining because here we are fixed in the first element. Here we are fixed 1 here. Here we are fixed 1. So we cannot fix here. So again, here we cannot fix because 1 already appears here. So I can only fix 1 in here in the last row as here. So if you look, this 1 can be moved into 5 positions. And as we move the position of 1, this position also changes. Also the position of this, also the position of this, also the position of this. So First row has 5 ways, second row has 4 ways, third row has 3 ways, fourth row has 2 ways, and last row has 1 ways. Therefore, number of elements in S is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. That is, cardinality of S is equal to 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, that is equal to 5 factorial. So, our correct option is C. So, our next question is question 23. Let B be a non-zero n by n real matrix with n greater than or equal to 1. Which of the following implication is valid? So, we have given a non-zero real matrix and n is greater than or equal to 1. We have to find which of the implication is true. So, let us check how to do this. So, here we are checking each option. The first option is determine B equal to 0 implies rank of B is equal to 0. So, I am here finding a 2 by 2 matrix so that I can generalize it. So, I am finding 2 by 2 matrix which determined as 0. So, I have got this. When you find the determinant, this is 0. And if you check the rank, it is not equal to 0. That is, rank is here 1. That is, number of non zero linearly independent rows. That is, determinant is equal to 0, but rank of B is 1. So, this implication is not true. So, let us check the next option. So, rank of B equal to 1 implies, sorry, Determined equal to 1 implies rank of B not equal to 1. I am taking an identity matrix. 
so we know its determinant is 1 and its rank is 2. So rank of B is not equal to 1. So this indication is valid. So let us check the other two options also. So in C, rank of D equal to 1 implies determinant is not equal to 0. So find that matrix with rank equal to 1. So I'm taking this matrix. If you find the rank, it is 1 and determinant is 0. So this implication is not true for every D. So let us check the next option. Rank of D is equal to N implies determinant not equal to 1. So here I am taking the identity matrix. So we know that rank is 2. For 2 by 2 matrix is 2. For n by n it is n. And determinant is 1. So this implication is also not valid. So we have got the correct implication as B. So let us check the options. So our current option is B. Next question, question 26. Let zeta be a primitive root of unity. Define A is equal to a 6 cross 6 matrix. For a vector V is equal to V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, element of R5, define modulus V suffix A is equal to square root of modulus VA V transpose, where VT is the transpose V, if W is equal to 1, minus 1, 1, 1, minus 1, then modulus W A equal to. So we have uh, given a 5 plus 5 matrix and a vector whose um, some uh, equation is given defined here, we have to find the value of this. Where W is given and A is given and no zeta is the root of unity. So let us check how to do this. So first of all I am finding the value of uh, this. So modulus W of suffix A is equal to square root of modulus W A W transpose. We are using the equation given in the question. First of all, I am finding the value of W A W transpose. So I am substituting W A and W transpose is transpose of W. So we will get like this. So if we note that A is a diagonal matrix. So when we product a, a matrix by diagonal, we are just multiplying the non-zero elements. Okay. So we get like this. Okay. So that is 1 into zeta power minus 2. That is zeta power minus 2. That's what I said. Multi just multiply the non-zero elements. And again multiply these two matrix. So we get like this. So we are given zeta is the fifth root of A. So this is the sum of fifth roots of A. Is it? Yeah. So you know that sum of n roots of unity is 0. Sum of fifth root of unity is also 0. So we got W A W transpose value as 0. Therefore, modulus W suffix A's value is 0. So let us check the correct option. So our correct option is A. So next question, question 29. The dimension of the vector space for symmetric matrices of order n cross n, n greater than or equal to 1, with real entries and trace is equal to 0 is. So we have given a vector space whose element is n by n symmetric matrices whose trace is 0. We have to find its dimension. So we know the dimension of vector space of all symmetric matrices of order n by n with real entries is given by this formula that is n into n plus 1 by 2. So here in this question they have asked the dimension of vector spaces of n by n symmetric matrices whose trace is 0. So you cannot just uh, say this is n into n plus 1 by 2. You have to minus the condition of 
trace being 0. So we get the damage that is n into n plus 1 by 2 minus 1. That is now I am just rearranging so that you get the same uh, possibilities as options. So this is equal to n square plus n by 2 minus 1. So let us check the correct options. So our correct option is B. Next question, question 35. Let W be the vector space for real polynomials of degree at most 3. Define T from W to W by T P of X is equal to P prime of X where P prime is the derivative of P. The matrix of T in the base is 1 X X square X cube considered as column vector is given by. So W is given to be a vector space of polynomials degree at most 3. So polynomials greatest uh, degree is 3. Okay. So we are defining a transformation by this formula. So we have to find the matrix representation of T with respect to this basis. So what we are going to do here is we are finding uh, the transformation of 1 with respect to t, then x with respect to t, then x square of transformation, then x cubes transformation, then we will find the matrix. So let us check how to do this. So t, p of 1 is equal to derivative of 1. So derivative the constant is 0. So we are getting 0. t, p of So now we are writing 0 as the linear combination of 1, x, x square, x cube. So we get like this. Now let us uh, take t, p of x. That is 1. So now I am writing this as the linear combination of 1, x, x square, x cube. So 1 into 1. All other terms will be 0. t, p of x square is 2x. Write it as linear combination of 1, x, x square, x cube. Now t, p of x cube. 3x square, write it as linear combination of 1x square x cube. Now I am going to write the matrix representation. So, first column is the column for this tp of 1. So, write all this constants. Okay, you will get all terms as 0. Now, write tp1x constant. I mean, constants as the columns. It's 1, 0, 0, 0. Next, write for tp of x square. 0, sorry. So, write it for 2x, that is 0. Then 2, 0, 0. Again, for tp of x cube, that is 0, 0, 3, and 0. So, this is the matrix representation of t with respect to the given basis. So let us check the correct options. So our option Z is correct. Next question 72. Let AIJ is equal to AI into AJ for 1 less than or equal to IJ less than or equal to N. Where A1 into etc. are real numbers. Let A is equal to AIJ be the N cross N matrix then. So we have given an n by n matrix. This element satisfies this formula. Then we have to check which of this following is option is true. Note this is a part C question. So you have more than one option correct. So here you are going to write an uh, n by n matrix. So it is like a11, a12, a19, then a21, a22, etc. up to a2n, etc. up to an1, an2, ann. So, in this question, we have given Aij is equal to Ai into Aj. So, I am just going to substitute in every elements. So, you get like A11 into A1, 1, A1 into A2, etc. up to A1 into An. Similarly, do for all the elements, okay? Now, whatever I am going to say, just imagine it, okay? From the first row, I am taking A1 also, okay? Keep A1 also. Now from the first column, again I am taking A1 outside. So you will get like A1 square outside. Inside you get like first element as 1. Here A2, A3, etc. up to An. Here A2, etc. up to An. Okay. 
now keep that a1 of a1 square outside okay now from the second row as i'm taking a2 outside okay keep a2 outside now from the second column i'm taking a2 so we'll get a1 square a2 square outside and similarly you are taking a3 from third row and third column a4 from fourth column and fourth row etc you continue up to nth so when we do that, we are going to get like a matrix, which I am going to see. Okay, I think you all got that matrix. Okay, let's see how it, how it looks like. So I hope all of you got this as the matrix. Okay. So now I am going to write. Um, so now you know the characteristic formula of N cross N matrix. How to write that so you are gonna use this uh, formula that is x bar n minus trace of x x bar n minus 1 plus x bar up to minus 1 whole bar n determinant of a equal to 0 so you just substitute all those values okay here trace is n okay all other values are gonna be 0 just check that because just check it and you will get this characteristic formula as x per n minus n x per n minus 1 equal to 0. Now I am taking x per n minus 1 as common. So you will get like this x per n minus 1 into x minus n is equal to 0. Therefore we will get x is equal to 0 for algebraic multiplicity is equal to n minus 1 and for n algebraic multiplicity equal to 1. You know that uh, the roots of characters formulas are called equal values. That's why I have written like this. So you got the equal values for this matrix. That is 0 or n. I mean 0 and n. Okay. So the determinant of A, this matrix is equal to 0. So it's a singular matrix. Okay. And if you know that A1 square, A2 square, etc. up to A n square is positive. And n is also positive. So, we, we know if eigen values are greater than or equal to 0, then matrix is positive semi definite. So, here we are getting like that because here, anyway, this is positive quantity. So, into 0, that is 0, into n, that is also a positive quantity. So, therefore, the matrix is semi definite for all a1, a2, etc. up to. So let us check the correct options. So if we know that we got A as a singular matrix. So first option never rises. And in second, you have seen that it is semi-definite. So B doesn't come. So C, C is correct option. And you have got 0 as an eigen value for all A1 into x to n. So our correct options are C and Next question 73. Suppose A, B are n cross n positive definite matrices. And I be the n cross n identity matrix. Then which of the following are positive definite? So first of all, we will look what is positive definite. So if even values are greater than 0, the matrix is said to be positive definite. Also, if, uh, equivalently we can say, if x transpose A, x is greater than 0, then the matrix A is said to be positive definite. Also, you can use the principal leading minus. If all the principal leading minus are positive, then uh, it is positive definite also. Now let us check the options. So first option is asking about A plus B. So to check A plus B is positive definite, we have to prove x transpose a plus b into x is greater than 0. So first of all, I am going to check the LHS value. So x transpose a plus b of x is equal to, you can open the bracket, so x transpose ax plus x transpose bx. We have given a and b to be positive at night. So x transpose a x is greater than 0 and x transpose bx is greater than 0. So totally the term is greater than 0 you got x transpose a plus b of x is greater than 0. Therefore, a plus b is positive at night. Now, we look the 
option C, a square plus i. Now I am taking median value of a is equal to lambda. a is positive definite. So it is greater than 0. So if eigen value of uh, a square plus i is equal to lambda square plus 1. You know lambda is greater than 0. Obviously lambda square is also greater than 0. So lambda square plus 1 is also greater than 0. Therefore a square plus i is positive definite. Now I am going to show the D option. Okay. Option D is about AB matrix. So AB is need not be positive definite. So for that I am going to show an example. So I am taking a matrix A like this and B to be this. So find the equal value of A now. You will get like this. Both are positive. So A is positive definite. And equal value of B is this. So B is also positive definite. Now find the matrix AB. Find the matrix AB. So we'll get like this. So here I am using the principal leading minus. So if we check principal leading minus, that is, it is to be negative here. Here it is positive. This is okay, but here we are getting negative. But we need all the principal leading minus to be positive. Here one is negative. So AB is not positive that night. For certain example, we may get AB to be positive, but you have to get all the matrix AB as positive definite. Then only it will be our option will be correct. So here we are getting an example which is not positive definite. Similarly, you can define an example for B option that is ABA that also need not be positive definite for certain example. Uh, you can just find out that I have not given here, but you just find it out by yourself. Okay, so now let us look into the correct options. So our correct options are A and Z. Next question 75. Let M be the vector space of all 3 by 3 real matrices. And let A is equal to which of the following are subspaces? So let us check what is subspace. W is the subspace of the vector space B if 1, 0 element of W, 2, alpha U plus beta V element of W for U V element of W where alpha, beta are scalars. So let us check how to do this question. First option, W is equal to set of all X in M such that X3 equal to X. Start to prove whether this is a subspace of M. So obviously 0 is an element of W because 0 into A is equal to A into 0. Okay. Now I am taking two elements from W. X, Y element of W. So X, Y element of W means it satisfies this equation. So X A equal to A X and Y A is equal to Y. A Y. Now we have to prove. A alpha x plus beta y element of w. That is we have to prove alpha x plus beta y into a equal to a into alpha x plus beta y. So take any LHS or RHS. So I am taking RHS here. So alpha x plus beta y into a. Now I am multiplying a by in both terms. So we get a into Sorry, alpha into xa plus beta into ya. So, I am using this equation here. So, we will get alpha into ax plus beta into ay. Now, I am taking a common outside. So, we will get a into alpha x plus beta y. So, we have got LH is equal to RH. Therefore, alpha x plus beta y element of W. Therefore, this set is an subspace of so, similarly, you can uh, prove option B and C as subspace of M. Similar condition, okay? Now, I am going to check option D. So, option B is like set of all X in M such that determinant of AX equal to 0. Obviously, 0 is an element of W. So, what condition is problematic is second condition. So, I am using an example for this. 
so i'm taking two elements from w so whose determinant of x should be zero so i'm finding x like this and uh, y to be like this you have to satisfy this condition for x y to be element of w so i'm checking that condition that is determinant of x should be zero and determinant of a y should be zero so first i'm finding ax matrix here so this multiply these two matrix you will get like this so if you find that last row is zero so obviously determinant of ax is zero so a y i'm finding now so a y similarly you can find now if you find like this you see the column is zero so determinant is of a y is zero so x and y both belongs to w so i'm taking alpha to be 2 and beta equal to have to if this is a subspace you will get determinant of alpha x plus beta y to be zero so let us check that so first of all i am finding so a into alpha x plus beta y so i'm substituting alpha and beta so we get a into 2x plus 3y i'm substituting a x and y you get like this so now i am multiply so i'll uh, sum these two matrix then multiply with this matrix. So you'll get like this matrix. So if you find the determinant, this is non zero. So you are getting determinant of A into alpha x plus beta y is not equal to zero. So this cannot be a subspace because second condition is violated. So our correct options are A, B, and C. So next question 76 let w is equal to set of all p of b such that p is a polynomial with the real coefficients where b is equal to the matrix the dimension d of vector space w satisfies so we have to find the dimension of this vector space so let us check how to do this so first of all we are going to write a general polynomial so we know P of x is equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus anx square n. Okay. So in our vector space, uh, it contains P of b elements. So instead of x, I am replacing with b. So P of b is equal to a0 plus a1b plus a2b square plus etc. up to a and b, b power n. So we have given the matrix b that is equal to this. So, I'm finding now b square. So, you get like this matrix. Now, if you find b cube, you are getting the identity matrix. So, b, b power 4 will be b. b power 5 will be this matrix. b power 6 will be again identity. So, this cycle is going to continue. Now, I am going to substitute these matrix here. So, that you can just uh, arrange same elements in a bracket. So, we will get like P of B is equal to C0 plus C1B plus C2B square. Okay. Where C0, C1, C2 are these elements. Okay. So, we want dimension of W. So, dimension of W is uh, 3. That is 1 B B square. So, it contains 3 elements. So, these W is vector space of polynomials of degree less than or equal to 3. Therefore, dimension is equal to 3. So, whichever option contains 3, that will be our correct option. Okay. So, let us take that. So, our correct options are C and D. Okay. Next question 77. Let n be a 3 cross 3 non-zero matrix with property n cube is equal to 0. Which of the following are true? So we are given n is a non-zero 3 by 3 matrix such that n power 3 is equal to 0. Therefore, this implies n is an important matrix of index 3. So an important means it's all its eigen values are 0. So here its algebraic multiplicity is 3 because we have taken a 3 by 3 matrix. Now I am forming the matrix n by help of Jordan canonical form. So, after this, I am finding the geometric multiplicity of 0. 
So when we find that it is equal to 1, here actually there is a mistake, it is actually 1. Therefore, n is not similar to diagonal matrix because algebraic multiplicity and geometric multiplicity are different. So, it is not diagonalizable. So, now I am finding the eigenvectors of uh, 0. So, using this formula, n minus 0 i into x equal to 0. So, x is a 3 cross 1 matrix, x1, x2, x3. So, multiply these two matrix and equate to 0. So, we will get x2 equal to 0 and x3 equal to 0. x1 can be any real number, okay. So, we have got eigenvector as x is equal to z0, 0, 0, z element of r. So, therefore, we have got one, no, only one non-zero independent eigenvector because this can be written as c into 1, 0, 0. So, there is only one independent eigenvector. But we can find many eigenvectors, okay? Because when we replace c by uh, different different numbers, we get different different eigenvectors. So now let us check the options. So we have got n is not similar to diagonal matrix, n has one non-zero independent eigenvector, but n has infinitely many eigenvectors. Our options are A and C. B is not correct because they are asked three linearly independent because and we have only got one linear independent okay just look at that options properly okay thank you for